What's up guys? Vlogging with Fidalis here. It's been a while again. I know, I'm sorry, but I just figured I would come on here and talk to you guys a little bit of a life update, what's going on this summer, everything that I'll be doing. Um, it's actually really late right now. It's 12. I have my hair like in a bun on top of my head, nothing fancy. Lexi shirt, sorry Lex, give it back to you soon. Um, I washed it, don't worry. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot gonna be going on this summer, so uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me, hopefully on some of the trips. Uh, but yeah, just here to give you a little breakdown, everything I'll be doing. I said I'll be doing a couple of things this summer. So first thing, I'm actually coaching with Impact Gold, which was the organization I played with in high school. Um, I'm coaching with Jazz Jackson, who played at LSU, and she is currently a coach for the 14 and 16 teams, I believe. But I'm helping out um, with her team, and then I'm also coaching with Tatiana Cortez, who played at Boston, I believe. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna be on the road. I'm actually leaving to Colorado tomorrow morning at like four, five for the airport. So um, this is a really late vlog, but I wanted to make sure I sat down and talked to you guys and let you know what I was doing before. I got out of here um, and I'm I'm gonna record some of that too. I think that'll be fun. Colorado's uh, our first trip. I don't know if I said that yet, but Colorado's a huge tournament in the select world. Um, for those of you that play softball, you know about the fireworks slash sparkler tournament. Um, that's a huge one and it's always been a really competitive and fun um, atmosphere there. It's a ton of teams, all that. So I'm actually coaching this time, so that'll be really fun. So I'll be there for about a week or so and then I'm gonna come back a few days early and I'm meeting my parents back here at my house. This is my house in uh, Laporte. Uh, but yeah, so I'm meeting my parents back here and we're taking off that same night. So I get home at like 4 p.m. or something like that and I'm coming immediately back here to my house, picking up a few more things from my suitcase and then driving to Oklahoma uh, for Team Mexico. Um, I think it's the World Cup is the first one. World Cup, World Championships. One of the two so our first one's in oklahoma and uh, we actually have a training camp about two days before so we'll go there just kind of get to practice as a team and just be able to do a lot of that stuff kind of build that chemistry because we don't get to practice throughout the year because some girls are still playing some are coaching all that good stuff so we'll be there for two days and then play starts i think on the fifth or the sixth maybe the sixth i think i'll have to double check the schedule but those start for, those are for about a week and a half, I think, or a week, something along there. But then we go straight from Oklahoma and um, we're gonna fly to Canada. And then Canada will be there for about a week and a half. So that's pretty much all of July. And then I'm gonna get back from Team Mexico and then I'm going again with Impact to um, PGF, which is in Huntington Beach, California, which is awesome. Hopefully I get to visit Jenna. I got to visit Jenna. She used to play at AM, a good friend of mine. She is awesome. Love her. I hope she's watching this. If you are, I love you, Jenna. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to see her a lot. She lives there, so she showed us a bunch of spots when Ashley and I went and visited over Christmas break. So that was really fun, and I'm really excited to get to go back and kind of get the local experience rather than the, the tourist kind of vibe that we had gotten a few years prior with. Uh, the PGF tournament that I went to every summer. So then after PGF, um, that's gonna run probably late late July into be very beginning of August. At the beginning of August, I believe on the third, I have to be in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> that one's so fun. I'm so I'm so looking forward to that. But Dominican Republic for Team Mexico play again, and that one is like super important because that qualifies us for, I believe the Pan Ams, actually I'm gonna look it up because I know that it qualifies us for a couple of different things for Tokyo 2020. Um, there's a bunch of steps. Okay, so this event will qualify teams for the following, the Central American Games, which will take place in Colombia in 2018, and then Pan American Games taking place in Peru in 2019 and the World Championships in Chiva, Japan, which is an event that gives three automatic bursts for the Olympic Games in Tokyo 2020. So that is a huge tournament for us. Super excited and I'm really, I'm really excited because it's Dominican Republic, I've never been there. Um, I'm lucky that I get to play. It just gives me extra reps to get to see different pitchers and learn stuff from different people from different universities or just 
pick people's brain that are in the game, that have been in the game, that love the game, you know, same passion as me. So I'm excited for this summer. It's gonna be a fun one, it's gonna be a busy one. Um, I'm also in the process of moving um, from my house in College Station, so I'm moving not too far, just like right down the road, but I won't be here all summer, so before I moved back here in Houston, I had to pack up all my stuff with my mom. Uh, me and her, we kind of, we um, cleaned out my room, but we had to like engineer some of my furniture to, to move it and then figure out how we wanted to set everything up. I don't know, it was really, it was a complicated process, but the good news is that we got it done. And uh, then my dad came after we finished summer camp. We already did Aggie summer camp. That went really great. I actually got a little sunburn, started peeling. Um, and yes, I use sunscreen, mom. I use sunscreen, I promise. Um, but, we moved all of our stuff, so I have literally everything in my room right now is in laundry bins, and luckily she cleaned out like a little drawer for me, so I have places to put my clothes, but kind of everything right now is all over my house because I don't live here anymore, um, but I don't have anywhere to live right now until I think like mid-August, so my parents are gonna go with a moving company and move out my stuff probably mid-June mid after Oklahoma, I believe, so they're gonna move that out. So then after I get back from the Dominican Republic, I'm going to move all my stuff in to uh, my new place in College Station. Definitely gonna be a great summer. I'm super excited for all the trips that I'm going on just because they're all around softball and I love softball. Brainiac. So, uh, 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 uh. so I don't know, I'm just super stoked. What a great opportunity for me. Uh, thanks to Impact for letting me come back and coach. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, I'm still in college, so I feel weird kind of coaching these girls, but hey, I'm just here to help, you know, whatever I can do. Um, I'm super excited to play. I'm excited for a lot of things. I use that word excited a lot, because I'm excited. But um, playing is so cool. Last year was my first year with Team Mexico, so this year I feel like it's gonna be even better. Bringing a lot of girls on the team that I'm excited about. Uh, gonna be a cool experience going to new places that we haven't been before. Um, and then also going to going to tournaments that I've been to with the girls, but in a different view. Instead of playing, I get to coach. And so it's gonna be, <coughs> excuse me, it's gonna be weird seeing the flip side of things, um, especially since I'm still playing. So I still see things in the playing, the player's vision, but I'm hoping coaching will give me uh, a better sense of the game and just give me more knowledge of, on the game and what players are thinking and I can give them knowledge about what I would think in a certain situation and see if we're on the same page, stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys keep up with me this summer. It's gonna be a fun one. So with that all being said, I hope you guys follow me this summer. It's gonna be a great one. Um, definitely follow the vlogs, subscribe so you get an email when I post. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. I will post every time I post a video. If you're not subscribed, if you're subscribed, you'll get an email every time I post a video, so that's really handy. Wink, wink. Um, but yeah, like the video, let me know what you wanna see. I'd love for you guys to actually leave comments down below with what you wanna see. I know a lot of the younger girls at camp said they wanted to see certain things, but I'd love for you guys to interact with me. I love hearing from you guys down in the comment section. That is the ultimate, like, this person wants to see it, so I know someone else is gonna wanna see it or I'll do it for just them, I don't really care. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do packing vlog for sure, behind the scenes with our team, something else, some interviews with the team. Uh, I know Gabby Moreno, I know you want a nutrition, what I eat in a day, and I'm probably gonna do that once I get back to school when I'm on my regular schedule, just because in the summer everything's a little whack, but I promise I'll get that to you eventually. Um, yeah, so let me know for sure, but don't forget, subscribe, like, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your parents, tell your brothers, tell your sister, tell everyone you know. Uh, let them know Vlogging with the Dallas is back for the summer and we're, we're getting it done. So. All right guys, I will catch you in the next one. I will be up in four hours, so I have to go. <laughs> I gotta catch a flight to Colorado, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks and gig'em guys.